Didn't see you guys there. What's up? You're here for the truck tour. Come on in, guys. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Let's go. So we're gonna start with the truck tour first because the truck had to be empty so I can give you a tour. So that's why we're starting at the end of the day. The most important thing is that I'm gonna show you the inside of the truck and all the cool and unique things about it. So let's go. Guys, welcome to the truck. Someone just started a car so it's gonna do a little buzz. But yeah, here we are on the passenger side with these sliding doors. 1-800-GO-FEDEX for pickups and all your FedEx and delivery options needs. So yeah, we just open the door like so and they have these windows as well so if you don't want the doors open, you can just have these windows open as well. Uh, to lock the door, you just push this inside and it'll lock the truck. Really simple. Okay, so I guess we'll start at the passenger side. Uh, here's the passenger seat. Um, here you have the fire extinguisher, you know, in case my truck catches on fire or a building catches on fire I'm here dude and over here we got the first aid kit uh, I've never op actually opened this so this is gonna be our first time opening it uh, what do we have we have gauge we have these pads right here uh, we got antibiotics and we got some looks like band-aids in the back and a plastic case with uh, Q-tips and more band-aids. And some first aid cream. Yep, so pretty much your basic first aid kit in case you get like a box cut or one, one of those plastic straps cuts you. It's right here. In the corner, we got some dirty gloves. Keep in mind, this is in my truck. I don't drive this truck all the time. Uh, some other tr driver drives this truck, but I'm doing this route today, so that's what it's gonna be like. This thing, I have no idea what this is. Plastic, um, like I said, it's not my truck. Um, here is the middle console. Uh, we keep the papers there and there's my water bottle. Because if we keep the papers up here, uh, if the doors are open, the papers go flying straight on. And all the paperwork is gone. <laughs> uh, they have, we have these clip things, but they seem to be broken. So that's why I keep those there. Here are my door tags. Uh, they're heavy enough to stay in place, so we don't really have to worry about that. And my scanner. Yep, my nice scanner. 5.52 p.m. Woo! It is late. It is getting late. Uh, got my gloves, got my hat, Sharpie marker to write on the boxes. Uh, Arizona mango, probably the best flavor besides uh, pina colada. Guys, if you've seen the pina colada Arizona, get it it's really good and it's my favorite flavor it's really rare that you'll find it in the store but if you do find the pina colada one highly recommend okay so we go up here above the passenger seats uh no mask no entry and here's the little thing what do you call this i forgot i totally forget what you call this but it's here to block the sun it has these extensions so it actually reaches the windows or yeah the windshield so it reaches the windshield, so it blocks the sun, I guess. Here we have the camera that they just installed. Apparently, there's a third party watching me right now. So they get like a first glimpse of my vlogs. So I guess they're lucky. They're probably watching this right now, I'm not sure. Hey guys. <laughs> um, here's my backup camera. It's off right now, but I'll turn it on to show you guys later. Uh, there's a lot of duct tape on it. Uh, I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. With right, the right tools and I guess we'll just keep duct tape there. Um, we got some cool stickers right here. Here's a Rhino Rocks. Not sure what that is about. Here's a Puerto Rico sticker with Lo Hasim Mahor. Uh, not sure what that is, but yep, we got that. And there's a New York Mets sticker. I don't know why that's here. New York Yankees all the way. Here's the cabinets. We got two of them right here. Um, 
if we open this one, you see we got a hat. Whose hat is this? Bulldogs? Come on. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, uh, some, we got some napkins. Looks like some papers for a truck. Uh, the tape gun and some more napkins. And we close that. You want to keep most of your things up here. Like I said, if something falls out the doors, it's over for you. And if we open this one, extra tape, some wires, ooh, a FedEx vest, and some wet naps to wipe my hands. Moving to the driver's side, here's the driver's seat. Um, it's a little fucked up, or it's a little messed up. And, and <laughs> nothing a little tape can't fix. That's probably what my contractor would say. And here we have the probably paperwork for the truck. Yep, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is seat. The seat's kind of raised, as you can tell. So when you sit on it, <clears throat> so when you sit on, you're you're kind of standing and sitting, so it's easier to get up and down when you go to get grab the packages. So in this box are the the road flares and stuff. So in case your truck breaks down, you can leave these little triangle flare red things on the road and um, to warn people not to get too close to you. And this is the dashboard. Let me show you the dashboard real quick. It's pretty interesting. Uh, here are the codes for all any packages. Say if business was closed, there's a code for that. Or if the, there's construction on the road, there's a code for that too. And this is the dashboard. So let's go from left to right. Actually, let's start with the steering wheel. So here's the steering wheel. We got cruise control right here. And we got on and off for the, I'm not sure. And here's the horn. Uh, pretty loud. I don't want to scare anyone, that's why. Uh, on the left side, on the left side you have the air vents. This is for the air. Not really air conditioner, it just blows air. So I guess that's nice. But they don't move, see? As you can tell, it only goes up and down, but not left and right. <laughs> so it, it shoots air from like going here and hits hits my shoulder. Like, it'll, hit, it'll like shoot like right here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really that good let's look at the gauges uh, there's an RM sticker not sure what that is um, here we have the oil pressure I believe that's yep and it's turned off let me turn the truck on for you guys so you guys can see fully there's my gas gauge and we are pretty full because I got gas in the morning here's my RPMs and in the middle here's my basic um, Super basic gear, gears. <clears throat> I got parking, reverse, neutral, and drive. Pretty basic. It's really hard to turn this sometimes. Yet it's really precise. Like um, it's and it feels kind of like wobbly. So it's not the best. But I just we just got to deal with it. The truck's at around almost 30k miles total, uh, which is fairly I would say fairly new. But this truck looks like it's been through been through quite a lot as you guys can tell and not the cleanest I don't know when the when's the last time this truck's been clean there's some piece of woods there um, they're on the floor there oh back down here there's the, the gas the brake and this is not the clutch do not confuse this with a clutch it is the the handbrake as you can tell and here's the release for it right there back to the dashboard you can tell there's the weather right there it, also, it says it's 91 degrees but it's really in reality I think it's like 80. Let me see. Let's see if I could change anything. Uh, let's see some info. We got 172 miles to where empty, and there's the inch and hours. We got almost 6,000 trip. Everyone has trip, and there's the miles per hours. Uh, it only goes up to 100, so but that doesn't mean the truck can't go over 100. And you got some more temperature gauges on the right side. Okay, we're on the right side of the dashboard, and here we have the air vents for the right side. Uh, these things are, I believe, are 12 volt. Yeah, two 12 volt things. Yeah. Put those caps back on, and we got a fan. This is the fan that controls this fan. So if I turn it, up, if I press it up, that's on high, guys. That's on high. But if I turn it down, that's on low. I like to keep the fan off because it's kind of noisy and loud and I like the breeze from the outside. And there, there you have my mirrors too. 
So if you're gonna set up your mirrors, you want the horizon somewhere in the middle. You want exactly in the middle, like 50-50, where the street meets the sky. So it's right there. And then you want like maybe 25 to 33 percent of the truck view of the truck, and then the rest of the street view. That's the perfect way to set up your mirrors. And you got the concave mirrors to see the blind spots. Back here, this is uh, controls the middle, like I was doing before. The info uh, setup, and then there's reset. Uh, down here controls the headlights. Uh, I just keep it on this one, or I'm not sure what these buttons mean. I know this one's always on. That one's probably auto and this one's probably off, but for some reason they're always on. This is the dome light that goes up here. So if I turn it off, it's off. But if I turn it back on, boom. Uh, and this is the cargo light. So we have a cargo light in the back. Turn that off. Turn it back on, turn it back off. Last but not least, these are the controls that control the air vents. Pretty self-explanatory. Low, medium, high. You got the cold air for the summer and you got the hot air for the winter. And this chooses where the, I guess where it's gonna blow. Uh, they have fans down here as well, as you guys can see. And I guess this one is for uh, the air that shoots up the, <clears throat> that shoots up the windshield so it doesn't get foggy when it rains or snows and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much the front interior. You also got stereo. I don't know how many of you guys have stereos. Let's see what's playing. The weekend. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, two speakers. I believe it's Bluetooth as well. Or aux in. Or aux cord. So that's good. Okay, so moving back to the truck. Or moving to the back of the truck. You can, we have this door that you can open and close by that. And you can lock it just by pushing the button. And this is the back of the truck. Let me turn the thing off. Um, here are some pickups, um, some packages I couldn't deliver because the business were closed. My lunch, my, <clears throat> my bag, and some chips I didn't eat. Uh, one gallon of water. I recommend you guys carry one at least one a day. <laughs> I recommend you guys carry one of these because you'll get thirsty. Some drivers have coolers and I recommend you get coolers as well. Keep your drinks cold. But yeah, here's the truck. Uh, there's two shelves on the left, two shelves on the right. We got the hand truck down the middle. There's a Sprite bottle there. I'm not sure it's filled with Sprite. It might be filled with something else. I'm not gonna check, it's on my bottle. And yeah, that's pretty much the truck right here. You can see they had the translucent ceilings stripped down the middle. So you don't have to use a cargo light or depend on it. You can just depend on natural sunlight. And there's a lot of writing on this truck. Look at that. Uh, the streets uh, that are written here don't belong to this town. They belong to a different town, but if there's people are gonna be riding on these trucks, I gotta, you gotta write something. No, marker. There we go. If you guys can't read that, you should be subscribing to me on YouTube. All right, here's the back of the truck. Just want to show you guys the very end. Uh, you got two handles on the side, the left and the right. And here's the door. Uh, to open this, you just lift this thing up and it, oh, lift this thing up and bring that to the left side. And yep. And that's inside the truck. What's up everyone? I thought it'd be cool to give you a little POV of what it's like to be driving one of these bigger trucks. 9 times out of 10, if you drive for UPS, FedEx, or even Amazon, your truck probably looks something like this. In most of my other videos, I drive in a truck that's enclosed. Think of more of it like as a moving truck. My contractor just likes those trucks out of like 25 trucks. Only two of them have the sliding doors. I don't know why. Yeah, but these trucks are a lot of fun to drive. It can be a little intimidating when you first start trying to drive these big trucks. But once you know your limits and get used to it, it's like second nature. Everyone has to start somewhere. But I guess that also depends on where you live. If you live in the city, I guess I can see why having a truck would be kind of stressful. Driving down those small streets and turning those tight corners. And then you have the opposite where you're just driving in farms and every stop is like 5 minutes away. In the town I'm doing right now, I kind of have best of both worlds where some parts of it are more urban than others and other times the streets are just so big. 
I had a lot more to say in this video, but I don't want to drag it out too long because the video is already like 15, 16 minutes already. I know when I see a video that's like 20, 25 minutes on YouTube, I get a little scared. <laughs> if you guys want longer videos from me, let me know down in the comments because I feel like I would scare people if I post longer videos. I'm not sure. Let me know. I hope you guys are enjoying the POV driving of this truck because when I try to do on the other truck, it doesn't look as good. You can just see so much more looking out the windshield and the doors. It's crazy and kind of cool. This is what I imagine the Jeeps without the doors feel like. It's just like so freeing. This brings us to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Later guys and stay beautiful.